Welcome to the set of training videos provided by the Bulgarian partner Architectural Spice in the project BIM Speed. You're watching the first video tutorial from the XRG set. Hi guys, this is Chris from Architectural Spice and today I'm going to introduce you step by step to the developing of mixed reality application for HoloLens 2 in Unity using the prepared building information model, 2D thermal scans and photogrammetry. We start by downloading our developed project from GitHub. The link will be in the description. And then we proceed by adding the XR environment Unity project file from the extracted one to a new Unity 3D project with the preferred version. Our project contains Mixed Reality Toolkit, which is a free Microsoft-driven project that provides a set of components and features to accelerate cross-platform Mixed Reality app development in Unity. Mixed Reality Toolkit contains hand-tracking examples with attached C-sharp scripts, which we need to create our own application. Once the project has been created, we navigate to the assets in the top left corner of the screen. Then we find the import package option and import the XR environment Unity project file as a custom package. After the import of the package, MRT key project configurator window should appear and we should just close it. The next step is to find the main scene folder in our assets and load the XR environment scene. We can also reduce the 3D icons for better view. Uh, the scene can be tested at any time by clicking the play button in the top center of the screen. To make an object interact with our hand, we should attach a few C-sharp scripts to it. We have to select the preferred part and add as components these C-sharp scripts to it. Bounce control, min-max scale constraint, rotation axis constraint, near interaction grabable, and object manipulator. Also, under the already added bounce control script we have to change the activation behavior from activation on start to activate manually so the bounce can be invisible and make the project look better
exporting and building the project is a little bit more complicated process. We should go to the top left of the screen and navigate to File, Build Project. And since we built an application for HoloLens 2, the platform must be switched to Universal Windows platform. You can install the module from Unity Hub. There are a few settings that are required for HoloLens 2 applications. The architecture must be ARM64 and the minimum platform version must be the one that ends with 362.0. The next step is to add the XR environment one scene in our build by clicking Add Open Scenes. Also, in the player settings, you can change the product's name and under the publishing settings, you can change the package name. In order for our application to run properly, we should install the XR plugin management and we should add the plugin provider with the Windows Mixed Reality. We then apply all the settings that are needed, and after that, we build the project to a preferred folder. The created application for HoloLens 2 must be a .m6 file. M6 is a Windows app package format that provides a modern packaging experience to all Windows applications. M6 enables enterprises to stay current and ensure their applications are always up to date. In order for us to create a .m6 file, we have to open the already built project and navigate to the Visual Studio Solution file. Under the menu of Solution Configurations, in the top center of the screen, we choose the Master option. Right next to that, we change the solution platform to be ARM64. After that, we navigate to the Solution Explorer and find our project's name. Then we right-click on our project, navigate to publish and create our app package. On the first page of the window, we have to disable the automatic updates. The second page is by default and we just skip it. On the third page, we must only select the ARM64 option and unselect the others. Then we create that package, which usually takes a few minutes. The .m6 file has been created in the same folder where the package has been built under App Packages. Then we install the app to our HoloLens 2 through the Windows device portal. Okay guys, this is all for today, thank you so much for watching and see you soon.